Hi friends, in this video you will get this tool for free. Just enter a topic, for example, email marketing and simply click on start and see now the magic. In a few seconds, you will get this research, intensive research with how each topic is connected to the main topic with search volume. And not only that, you will find here the full keyword data with SEO difficulty, paid competitors, search volume, cost per click, all this data within this dashboard. Not only that, this tool will draft posts on your website automatically. You can see now if I refresh, I got all the topics here drafted on WordPress. The title and the draft. Awesome. This tool helps you in blogging, content research, academic research, automating SEO and content creation, or even providing a unique gig to sell as a service online. If you are ready, let's get started. This video is sponsored by HubSpot. So what I'm going to cover in this video, number one, how this tool works, the architecture. Number two, how to set it up and run in a few seconds. Number three, advanced features in this tool. And number four, making money and monetizing this tool. And number five, giving out the tool for free. So let's start with number one and see how this tool work in just two minutes. This is very important to understand the architecture. If you want to build something similar, if you want to update, if you want to understand the features to fit your own needs or maybe your customer needs, as you will see in the monetization section. So the main idea behind this tool is what I call recursive LLM calls. Let me show you in 30 seconds on ChatGPT how this works so you can grasp the idea easily. So here's ChatGPT and I will ask it this question. I'm doing intensive topic research on email marketing and your task is to generate or brainstorm three child topics directly under email marketing. I think we got email automation, email campaign optimization and compliance and legal standards. Let's now brainstorm three child topics under email campaign optimization, for example. So now, I dig inside each topic and brainstorm another level of topics, you see? So now we have subject line effectiveness. Let's generate child topics for subject line effectiveness. You can see the second level of topics. In this way, I'm going down, down, down with topics with this intensive topic research under one main topic. We got this A-B testing methodologies. Let's again, for level three, get the child topics under a b testing and we get again other three topics sample size termination you can see now we got some new ideas maybe something you didn't hear about before long-term impact analysis and so on and you can dig more and more with more levels inside each topic so this process is what i call recursive lm calls you are calling the same prompt again and again to level down inside a specific topic and generate a tree of nested topics. And this is what I did in my tool. You can see here we have email marketing, we have the child topics, three child topics, and below each child topic, we have another three. Now, why we stopped here? Because we have only two levels for the sub leveling. You can see I set it to two. If you go with three and start, you can see now we have the main topic. If you zoom, we have this child and this child have multiple childs and each child has multiple childs and so on depending on the level you set and you can see now we always have threes in each level why because we set the number of max childs to three if you set to five we have more and more topics and more in-depth research or topic research for this main topic and the three will become bigger and bigger and so on so what I did simply in this application is I automated the process of recursive alum calling or what we call sub leveling in a specific idea. And you can see here we have this simple Python script that uses recursive calling. And don't worry, you don't need to know Python or how this works to run the application. I will show you how to run it in one minute without any programming knowledge with simple one command. Now going back to my app, you will see here I have some additional features 
We'll talk about more in detail like fetching keyword data. So if you go down here, the keyword data, we have all this data about each keyword. We have generated blog post drafts, as I showed you in the demo. So for each of these topics, we will have a blog post draft on your WordPress website. And we have some other features we'll discuss in a few minutes. Now, before I jump and show you how to run this application in like 30 seconds, and speaking of intensive AI-powered topic research, I have part of the HubSpot to provide you with this awesome free resource to scale your content operations with AI. It starts with the basics of generative AI, and it hops into different prompts for both images and text generation. This introduction is great for beginners. Now, what really makes this free guide special is the content strategy section, where it shows more than seven use cases with examples. And what I really liked most is the generating ideas section, which is the inspiration behind the project today of this video about generating ideas and creating intensive topic research with AI. Then the guide jumps into important topics when it comes to AI and content creations like AI limitations. To know what really works with AI and content, it discusses topics like plagiarism and AI content and search engines, does content rank, does Google penalize you, and much more. It's really a great resource for anyone working in the AI marketing field. Go now, download the link in the description, below thank you hubspot for providing this resource totally for free and thank you for supporting my ad free videos okay friends let's now see how we can set up and run this tool on your pc step number one download the project files i will keep the link in the description below just download them it's totally free and then open with vs code or any editor you want so we have the files here, make sure Python is installed, click on a new terminal, and let's run the following commands. Number one, python-m vinv, vinv or virtual environment to create a new virtual environment. We have the environment, let's activate it. Again, vinv, scripts, activate. Perfect, clear. Now run this command, pip pip install dash r then requirements and all the requirements will be installed automatically just wait a little bit okay so we are done but before we run the application we need to add our openai api key so click on this new file dot e and v and inside this file just paste the openai api key in this way and the, add the key here that's it save this file and now we are ready to run the application it's that simple so to run it just write down streamlit run and the name of the file which is ui.py that's it ui.py enter and boom here is the application you can now enter any topic you want for example quantum mechanics and do an intensive research with recursive lm calls for now, don't check these two. I will show you in a little bit how we can enable these features. For now, to test it, just select, for example, two levels and select child topics to three to get the results somehow fast. Let's try it. Start. Just wait a couple of seconds. And boom, we got the results. You can see. And if you go down, now we don't have the keyword data simply because we didn't fetch the keyword data. We'll talk about this in a few seconds. So this is how you can basically run the main function of this tool. Now, before I go to the advanced features and show you how to activate them, let me pick the winner for this month. If you followed up my last video, I announced I'll be giving away one lifetime access to my Power Members Club, which is worth $800. And today in this video, I will pick the winner. So I'll copy the video link and go to this comment picker tool. I will enter the video URL and simply go down and get YouTube comments. Let's see. We have 136 comments. Click on start. Mm. Boom. At heavy now dash how six. 9-7 is the winner. Please contact me on my email 
hassan@lemonhassan.com to claim your access. Congratulations and if you want to join the next month's giveaway and get lifetime access, all you have to do is to comment down below and smash the like button. So let's go back to our tool and see how we can work with these advanced features and see what are these features. Let's start with keyword data. So how we can get keyword metrics or data with our research. The idea is simple. We need API access. So if you want accurate metrics, accurate data, you need to get this from a specific API and you have different options. In my case, I'm using my own keyword data, the bulk keyword metrics. If you go to Rapid API, I'll leave the link in the description. Click on the Get Keyword Metrics endpoint. We can pass multiple keywords in the query section and enter the keywords count and simply click on Test Endpoint and you will get keyword data for each keyword. The keyword search volume and other data. So in my case, I connected my tool with this API. So if you want to do the same, what you need to do is to sign up to this API and you need to get the rapid API key, your own API key. Copy it and you go back to the application and in the .env file here, you just need to add the rapid API key. That's it and you will have access to the API and you can try it for free. Let's restart now and test. Again, run the application. Let's go again and say quantum mechanics and select two sublevels. And now let's fetch the keyword data. Start. Now it may take a little bit more time since it's reading the data from the API. And you can see now we got keyword data with the topics. Now, what does these colors mean? You see, when we checked fetch keyword data, now we have some colors. It simply means that when we have a green circle or a green topic like this one, it means that we have search volume higher than 10,000. If we have red, it means that we have search volume higher than zero. If we have white, it means we don't have search volume data. And if you go down now, we have the keyword data and you can see we have all these metrics. So this is how you activate the keyword data. Now, in case you want to use your own API, you want to use different APIs. For example, we have a lot of other APIs. If you go to Google, we have, for example, SpyFu API. It's another API for keyword data. We have a CMRush API. We have data for SEO. You can see here. And this is the SEMrush API. We have a lot of APIs. Even we have keywords everywhere. API, this one. So we have a lot of keyword data API. You can use any of these if you don't want to go with my own API. It's up to you. But all you have to do then is to change the code in the helpers function here. You see here I have a function that get keyword metrics from my own rapid api you just need to change this function and you'll have your own customized version for example maybe your client wants a data from specific api so you can customize that based on your client's needs it's up to you it depends on your scenario in your case but if you want to activate this you need to use my api or any api you prefer online by changing the function inside the code. And if you need help in this and change the code or anything, don't forget I'm here almost every day on the forum. Answer any questions. Just join us and I'll be with you. The second feature, which is the generate blog post drafts, how we activate this. Simply, again, go to our code and all you have to do is in the environment section here, you will need to add access to your WordPress website. Now, in my case, I am using this local application. If you want to test with, it's a great application. It allows you to install WordPress locally on your PC. So you can install it. For example, I have this testing website. Let's run it. So you can test the tool locally before publishing on a public website. Let's wait a couple of seconds for the website to run. And simply, I will log in to my WordPress dashboard. Let's close these tabs for now. Perfect. Let's now go to posts here to delete anything for testing. So select all, move to trash, apply. 
Perfect. Now, go to Users section here, All Users, and make sure to select an admin user. For example, this is my admin user. Click on Edit. Then go down and you'll find something called Application Passwords. Just give any name. For example, Test2. Add a new password application and you get this password. Copy it and now let's go back to our project. And in the .env file, you will need to add the WordPress URL. Just copy the URL, the WordPress user, in my case it's admin, and the WordPress app password you created. Just paste it here, save the .env file, and let's start the application. Again, run. Let's go here to posts. You see, we don't have any posts for now, any drafts. Perfect. Let's again go quantum mechanics, two levels, fetch keyword data, and generate blog post drafts. Now, of course, it will take a little bit more time generating the post and publishing on WordPress. So let's click on start and see. Just wait a little bit and see the magic. And perfect. We got the data. If we go down, we have keyword data and if we go to WordPress now and refresh we have the drafts on WordPress let's open any of these posts you will see now the title with the draft perfect now what about physics and hierarchical checkboxes let's see this hierarchical you will see now that the structure of the graph will change or the diagram will change it will look like a hierarchical tree so these two option is related to how this diagram or graph works so if we click on physics again now and uncheck hierarchical you will see that when you move these circles or balls it will have some physics between them so it's related only to the structure and how it's represented it's nothing crucial so you can play with this and see how this works i just added these options as additional options i was testing with the streamlit library so just play with them and see how these works now before i move on to monetization section and see how we can make money out of these tools one last important tip which is selecting different language models if you go to my code here again you see we have used openai api key and if you go to my code the main code here to the helpers function you can see here i created the lm instance using openai so if you want for example to try with gemini you simply go here and select gemini it's that simple nothing changed and you select the model name if you want to use for example anthropic with Claude, you can select anthropic here and select the Claude model and test with it but you need to change one thing only or add one thing only the api key again in the description below you will find the full guide and you will see a lot of examples and details if you like to go more in depth technically in this project and see how you can build similar projects yourself so now let's move on to making money a monetization section how we can can use and utilize this tool and similar tools to build a business or make money online I will give you three ideas number one this can be a great prototype or an MVP for a SaaS project if you add some more features play with the interface add a login system this can be turned into a SaaS business or at least you can turn this into a tool if you go to my website I think you know it I create and publish online tools on WordPress you can say I have a lot of tools here on my WordPress website and I sell this with the credit system you can see here for example the keyword research tool if you open it and search for anything look at the balance now it will decrease so when users use my tools they need points or credits and they need to buy these credits so like it's a mini SaaS or a micro SaaS on WordPress I explained how to build this in detail in my full WordPress SaaS course you can check in the description below anyway the third way is by using these tools as a freelancing gigs or services these tools can automate a lot of work from keyword research topic research creating articles and much more a lot of clients would like to get this tool so you can sell it if you want as a tool or you can use it yourself to provide freelancing services next week i will share with you a new tool to start automating seo with the power of ai don't forget the notifications to get every new update and to get all my new free tools